It's time. Hey, man. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Merchant Man. It's time, y'all. Hey, for sure, man. We got one for y'all today. Hey, man, I'm in the mood for something sweet, man. I ain't gonna lie. You, something sweet? Yeah, like a cake or something. Like a gourmand? Or, yeah, What about exactly. a cookie? Like a cookie? A cookie. Let's go. What we got? cookie. Let, what we got? Hey, man, we got this right here, man. Yo, this is Cosmorati's Italica. Italica. Ah, oh, man. Ital Italica. Ooh. Man, look at the box. Yeah, you already know it's going to be some heat, man. Italica. Most definitely. Remember man. that name, Italica. Italica. And, uh, so, it's right here, y'all. Hey, how you feel about this off the top, man? This is a Gourmand's dream. It's very sweet. For this, sure. This one is sweet. It's, I, I mean, it's, it's a dessert. This one is a dessert. Right off, right, right off the bat, you smell cookies. I Cake, get, I get cookies. A bakery. D depending on who you ask, right? You get something sweet. We know that for a fact because you have, you have some people say that this reminds them of Fruit Loops. You have some people that say that this reminds them of a Heath bar dipped in milk. I've heard people say strawberry Nestle quick. Is it nice? It's more than nice. This, man. I mean, it's 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 very very sweet, and it's strong. It's very strong. This is some strong, potent stuff, y'all. Like the projection is incredible. What you picking up? Man, it's an array of things, man. Uh, it don't got strawberry in it, man. But you pick up a lot of strawberry. You pick up, like, you pick up a lot of strawberry. You'll call me crazy for real, but. I feel like I smell Hawaiian punch or some type of fruit punch in this. Okay. But I don't even think that's the main notes. Like, I feel like I pick up a whole bunch of vanilla and, like, somewhat of a more nuttier fragrance. Because uh, almond is one of the base notes, correct? Absolutely. So, like, I'm picking up a lot of uh, vanilla. Toffee. Toffee. Like, it's just, it's a complicated fragrance in a very sweet, seductive way. You got, you got, it's, it's bourbon vanilla in this. Okay, because so, it does smell a tad so, bit spicy. So, so, you got bourbon vanilla. You got toffee, you got sandalwood, uh, white musk, you got milky notes. Yeah. And like you said, you got almond. You got almond in this. this it, is a, it, and it smells like you you really do get strawberry. You get a lot of strawberry out of this. But there's no strawberry notes in this. I picked In this up. fragrance at all. There's yeah. no strawberry notes, but you get strawberry. I get I get strawberry cookies. Strawberry cookies. <laughs> I get strawberry cookies. I get I get caramel. I get vanilla. Like it's just very sweet. But again, the atomizer is nice. Again, depending on who you who you speak with, everybody will say something different of what this fragrance reminds them of. You really have to have a sweet tooth for this one. You have to have a sweet tooth because this one is very, very, very sweet. Absolutely. So if you if you like sweet things, you'll love this. If yeah, if that's not if you're not really into sweet sweet fragrances, uh, you you may want to stay away from this one because this one is it's it's incredible. Absolutely, it, uh, it's incredible. This one is it, it's incredible. I'd recommend you get a sample first, but I almost if if you like Gourmands, you're gonna like this. Yeah, you, you are. Yeah, you you got to get a sample because this this one is is very strong. It's it's sweet, but it's warm. It's sweet. It's sweet, but it's warm. Just yeah. imagine, just imagine putting this on, and you're instantly just surrounded by a sweet bubble. Like you, you're trapped this out of a sweetness, exactly. like a sweet exactly. bubble or something like that. The sea eyes just, just oozes and just projects. And this is nice. This is nice. It's very sweet though. So be warned. If if if, if sweet things, sweet treats is your thing. You will love this. For sure. You will love this. But if you're not into things that that are sweet, you may want to <laughs> stay away. You may want to stay away because this this is that. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, if you have a sweet tooth. Wow, I smell it. I'm smelling smell it. Like, man. I'm smelling it. And That's it stays sweet. on you for such a long time. About, about six to eight hours. I feel like I smell this like the about very next hours. day on my clothes still. Yeah, this, I'm not going to lie. It's strong. It's some potent stuff. But it's warm. Yeah. It's sweet. Warm and spicy. I can't sweet, warm and enough, spicy. Man, how sweet it smells. It's like you're walking past a bakery of some sort. It's like it's like a strawberry shortcake. Absolutely. Like, like an ice cream truck. And, and, and just, you want it's so nice that if you're gonna eat something sweet, if you're gonna eat a dessert, you would want to put this on. Yeah. You would definitely want to wear this 
to pair with your dessert, with your treat. If you're going to eat something sweet, put this one on. Put Wear this. It will complement it. It will complement whatever you're eating, even if you want to drink a cup of coffee. You want to drink a cup of coffee. You want yeah. to get you a, a mocha, a lot, whatever. You want to get you a latte or something like that? Put this on. Any sweet occasion. Put this on. You will love it if you're into that type of thing. This this is nice, y'all. This is a Talica. Yeah. This is a Talica by Cosmorati, which Cosmorati is up under the Zerjoff umbrella. Yeah, it's the sister company. It's the sister company of Zerjoff. Zerjoff on, owns Cosmorati. But uh, psh, most death, man. Uh, I will say it leans a little bit more towards the uh feminine side. But uh, you could definitely sport this as a guy. Oh, uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. But it's it's unisex. It's unisex. It's, it's unisex. Men can wear it. Women can wear it. This is this one is nice. No matter who has it, if 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 you smell this on a person, you're gonna you're definitely gonna take a second look. You're gonna turn yeah, your head. This. You're gonna turn your head. You're gonna take a second look. Look at this. Look at the bottle. I mean, you get the quality again. This is Zerzhov don't miss. Man. It's part of the it's part of the Zerzhov brand. The tassel with the signature cap it look like it graduated, man. Look at this that. is a beautiful bottle. That maroon is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I think it fits very well with how it smells. It reminds me of like a strawberry or like a Hawaiian punch mixed with vanilla and like it has a milky roof, you know? So it's very pure. It's dark, but I think the milk sensation that I just spoke of gives it some type of light. So I think if you like gourmands or just sweet stuff in general, you're going to like this. Absolutely. You know? It has so many uh, elements into it, you know, and I think it reaches a lot of people's, uh, you know, uh, desires and wants. So you're definitely in for a treat if you like gourmands. Absolutely. In general. Winter time is definitely the time to sport this. You do. You, you know, do. it's early in fall. So I think that you could definitely get a lot of uh, good wares out of this at this time. I think it'll pop, but colder weathers, this is definitely the way to go with uh, colder weathers, man. And, uh, would you sport this in the summertime, man? I would. You would. I have. I have, but but again, it projects and hits better in the cold. Yeah, it but, does. I mean, but again, with, with fragrances, to each its own. You know, you wear your stuff when you want to wear it, how you want to wear it. You know, because again, it's it's all about you. You know, you buy you buy these fragrances for for you. I know I, when I buy a fragrance and, and and choose a fragrance, for the most part, I only think about myself. Honestly, <laughs> I I buy things that I like. I don't really buy things, you know, and say I wonder will if somebody else like this. You know, I actually buy things that I like. That's you know that's to my liking, to my taste. So you can pretty much wear it whenever you want. It's just that uh, to me and to you as well, it projects better in, in colder and cooler weather. But yeah, absolutely, y'all. This one is nice. Go try this one. This one retails for around three hundred to three hundred and twenty-five dollars, some somewhere in that range. I think came out. It, it re-released, I believe, in twenty twenty-one. It re-released in 2021 due to popular demand. This one, it went. This one went. When this one, when this one hit the shelves, it went. It right. went like crazy. This is known to be pro probably the best gourmand. Yeah, this is definitely out of the best all of the fragrances. It's it's very. It's I mean, you know what? Right there, we got bodacious. We That's got true. bodacious. Yeah. So we got another gourmand. We got bodacious by Bodacious. And this is similar, but Bodacious, whoa, nice, incredible, incredible. Bodacious is similar because it has that almond note in there. You get a lot of almond, but with Bodacious, you get cherry and almond. With Italica, you get almond and what? Uh, strawberries? Vanilla, strawberry, yeah. coffee. Yeah. Man, it's, this, it's, this definitely got a fruitier smell like apple or mandarin. Yeah, so, so Italica has more notes in it. You get more notes out of Italica than you do Bodacious. You, you're picking up, like you said, you're picking up vanilla. You're picking up caramel. You're picking up strawberry. Like, But with, with the Bodacious, you're pretty much getting almond, vanilla, and cherry. For the most part, yeah. Very, but that very, almond very note, cherry. that almond note is very, very present in both fragrances. For sure, absolutely. Both, it's it's incredible. Yeah. Which one you like best? 
I, I was kind of uh, set in stone on uh, Cosmorati Italica, but I don't know, man. You think it's a tie bodacious. between the Bodacious and the Italica? It's it's kind of looking like a tie. Like a tie, man. but if I if I I give the slight edge to Italica. You gonna go? You gonna go? You gonna I go with Italica? I think you get a little that, more. This is very, you know, you get cherry from this, and that's no disrespect. This is an excellent fragrance, but I think that has more to offer, just a tad bit more to offer. That's a bold statement, y'all. That's a bold statement because Bodacious is off the charts. Yeah. Bodacious is off the charts, so Bodacious is off the charts. So if he's going with Italic over that, that's a bold statement. Man, they both of the bottles look great too. Man. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's quality. You you you're getting quality of both brands. You're getting quality. So go check this one out, y'all. Go check this yeah, one out. You so gotta check this. Out. What would you rate Italic? Ten. You give Italic a ten? I give it a ten. I give it a ten. I can't be mad. I I I give it a ten. I give it I give a it a ten. ten for what it is. I will give this a ten. You you really can't complain. The quality is there. The longevity is there. I said you get again, you get about six to eight hours. It again on the when you first spray it on, it's very, very strong, very, very potent. It once it dries down, it pretty much stays the same. You know, it doesn't really change up and switch up on you. I, I, I would give this one a 10. I, I really can't complain about this. I Just can't complain about it at all. Man, George off don't miss with the graphics, no. the packaging, none of that. Just I mean, again, you literally can the pair. The box even smell good. The box smells good. The box smell good. <laughs> you can pair this with your dessert. You can pair this with your drink. If you want to drink a cup of coffee, put this on and then drink your coffee. And it will change the whole experience just by putting this fragrance on. You you really can't ask for more than that. Next time I get a, a raspberry bunt cake, I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it on me. Whoa. See how that experience. Uh, nice. It's going to be see nice. That experience. It's going to be nice. So, Good Kid, Mad City. All right. Classic. Classic album. Classic. What's your favorite song? E uh, it's one of them albums where you can't go wrong with pretty much the old track list, but I'm going to go Good Kid, produced by Pharrell. Whoa. I'm going to go Good Kid is my favorite, man. So that was produced by what, Pharrell? The Neptunes, right? Or was it just Pharrell? Was Chad uh, on that as well? I didn't see any credentials for Chad, but I think uh, it could have been the Neptunes. It could have been the Neptunes. I'm picking up both of those scents right you now. You get it? It's, I'm picking up both. That Bodacea, that Bodacious is kicking in, man. Like, I'm picking up both. I'm picking up both. I'm getting a italic. I'm getting a bodacious. I'm that's insane. Yeah. I don't think we've never tried to pair those. We might have to try to pair those just to see. That might be a tad bit much. Cause that's that's a lot. That's a lot of punch. That's a lot of power right there. You yeah, you trying to put both of those fragrances on at the same time? I don't know. It's like a chip. But I'm, cake. man, I'm yeah. picking up both. I paired it with the Triumph of Bacchus earlier. Man, go get, go get, go get both of these. Go get both of these. I and said go get all three. Go, go, go. And they're doing the same. But we, we just speaking on the girl minds right now. Oh yeah. Go grab. If you don't go grab, if you don't grab both, go get one of them. You can't go wrong. Go get one of them. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. Go grab one of these fragrances. Go grab one. Like I'm, that's incredible what I'm smelling right now. But again, good kid, Mad City. You say that Mad City is your favorite song? Nah, good kid. Good kid is your is your favorite song? Give me good kid. By Pharrell, produced by Pharrell. Ooh, Pharrell is also Pharrell. on the hook. Killed it. Incredible, incredible record, man. Yeah. Incre incredible. I'm gonna go with uh, sing about. Me. Absolutely. I'm gonna go sing about Absolutely. me. I'm gonna go sing about me. I love sing about me. But every track on this album, man, it's like there. It, re it really like it's it's to each his own. You to know, each its own. You can't be mad. Whatever song somebody says is their favorite. You really can't be mad about it. I do think sing about me is kind of what the album is about, though. This I, this know. this is. It was this the last great hip hop album? Uh. At to Pimple Butterfly, maybe. So wait, but, wait, so, so wait, so what's your favorite Kendrick album? Oh, uh, I think To Pimple Butterfly is better 
But I think this, this is my yeah. I think this is my favorite Kendrick album. You can't go wrong. Yeah, with this is my favorite one. Kendrick album. I think this is my favorite. It's my favorite. You Kendrick can't go album. wrong with either one though. Yeah, this this is my favorite, man. I, I, everything about this song. The man brought MC8 back. <laughs> he brought he brought MC8 back on, on, on this City, album, yeah. man. You got poetic. He he put Drake on the incredible song, man. He you got money trees with J Rock. Like it's the. I mean, he put Dr. Dre on Compton. He put Hove on uh on the remix. Yeah, he killed Hove. He, he killed Hove. I mean, this song, this album, this record. I mean, it's. It's a staple. It's a true staple in hip hop, man. This is one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time, Absolutely. hands down. So, so wait a minute. So, this came out in 2012, right? 2013. This came out in 13 or 12? I thought it was 12. I was in fourth grade. Yep. 13? 13? I thought it was 12. This came out. So, wait, because when, when Push T, my name is my name. That dropped in 13. Right, so this came out in 12. They didn't drop the same year. No, nah, they both came out in 13. Did they? Yeah. Oh, this came okay. out in 2013. Okay, yeah, I was so like fourth grade. I thought I thought this came out a year before. So, all right. So my name is my name, right? Right. Pusha T has a song on that album Nostalgia. called Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Absolutely. Featuring who? Kendrick. Featuring Kendrick. A or was it Kendrick featuring Pusha? No, man, I ain't no. Gonna count. It, was, it was Pusha T featuring Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> man. Who had the best verse on that song? Who had the best verse? I was man, Push man, you my dog. And you probably do got my favorite part of the uh, whole song. I, I got your top 10, Push. I got your top, Push T. I got your top, top 10. Five, you in my top 10. You in my you top, top 10 favorites. all the time. But I think Kendrick got you on that, man. I think Kendrick got him. You know I think he got him. I, I... But Push, he had that, uh, he has some crazy lines that make up my favorite parts of the song. Oh, that's, that's. Lyrically, Kendrick got him, man. Come on, man. We he, can't... I mean,. He got him. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but Pusha T him. had a crazy verse, crazy though, verse. man. Like and I want, I want to give it a tie. I want to give it a tie. I want to give it a tie because I mean Kend Kendrick showed up. I mean Pusha T went crazy though, man. Pusha T went with the Ivan, with the Ivan I, drop. That is my favorite that, line in come the Come on, man. Song, he snapped. He, he went crazy with that line. If he dies, he dies. Like I mean. You know what that remind me of? Uh, what? Triple Beam Dreams with Nas yeah. and uh, Rick Ross. Yeah, with Ross. He said, on, uh, they dumb and destroy themselves. That's how I rationalize. <laughs> and that was cold. How could I sell this poison that to my people in my life? Nah, like, snap. Nah, that's snap. Was that was one of the up. coldest verses we had got from Nas in a that's long a time. That's a ridiculous uh, hip hop verse, man. Yeah, it was, it's cold. It's a classic. That's a classic record. Absolutely. I think so. Actually, Rick Ross got a whole bunch of songs where like his features went crazy. Uh, Lupe on Poor Decisions. Absolutely, but uh, that's weird. another conversation. We we gonna we gonna get to Rick Ross. We gotta get to Rick Absolutely. Ross. Absolutely. But uh, so we both agree. Uh, we get it. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Like you want to get it to Kendrick, but I push I've seen the, the imagery with both verses. Yeah. I've seen it. They, they both painted pictures. Vivid pictures. They both man. painted pictures. You want to see a dead body? Like both of them, both of them made reference to boys in the hood. <laughs> hey, Amen. Like those he had to trade. If he rides, he rides. They both made references yeah. to boys in the hood. Like I. Pure as the fumes that be messing with my sinus. I was like, man. Yeah, now that would tell me I'm washed up. Man, I never tell that man told his pops he was washed up. Man, you better never tell me I'm washed up. Hey, man, I'm Kendrick a, snapped. Kendrick went crazy. The extent the uh, ten and nine uh, rhyme scheme, and he said a uh, nine times out of ten they on, don't man. pay attention. And, and when they do, in the air, they come with extension. Come on, he now, he went man. crazy. He Dang. went crazy. Push the T snap to listen. Metaphorically, Kendrick got him as well. Lyrically, metaphorically, I got I got a sense of time. I can't. Flow, who had the better flow? I'm gonna go with both, man. I got it. Kendrick, man. they wanna... both brought their A game. They both brought their flow. I give it a They time. both, they both Cause... brought their flow, man. Like if you say, if you say Kendrick, I can't be mad. If you say Pusha T, I can't be mad. It's just like that. I the whole, the whole Jay Z DMX uh, battle, that legendary battle that happened. You know, everybody yeah. says it was a tie. They said you couldn't, you could, whoever you gave it to, nobody could be mad. I'm, I'm gonna do that. You. 
I'm gonna do that. Whoever, if you say Push got it, I can't be mad. If you Same say Kendrick got it, I can't be mad. City track uh, listing, man. I can't be mad at you if you said swimming pools, you said money trees, oh, whole album. even poetic justice. Like they snap. Drake did a classic record. That's a classic. They snap that utilization of Janet Jackson sample. Like this whole, this is a staple in hip hop for sure, man. Oh, oh man, you man. gotta protect that. Oh man, who you telling? Let's see if we get it to stay. Look at that. Whatever. I'll hold it up for y'all, man. Hey. Put that in the camera. Bring that up. Yeah, this y'all gotta go listen if to this. If you haven't man. heard it. And I'm sure that's a if rare you case. haven't heard that's it. That's a rare case, man. If What's the new name from Avengers? The guy who uh told Cap he was trying to tell Captain America the dude will be flying around on Avenger. Avengers. Falcon? Falcon. Oh, Falcon. You remember when on um, when he was trying to tell Captain America about some of the greatest thing albums and books that you gotta listen to and okay. read? If, if you've been in a, if you if you've been in a capsule somewhere, if you've been in a cave, if you've been under a rock, if you've never listened to this Kendrick Lamar album, go check it out. Absolutely, man. Go it's check this album out. This is one of the greatest hip hop albums of all times, hands down. Absolutely, hands down. One of the last classics, if you ask me, man. One of the last classics. My favorite Kendrick album. You say it's your favorite Kendrick yeah, album. My well. favorite Kendrick album, man. So yeah, go check this out. Go check out an Italica. Retailing for what? We say between 300 and 325. Go check that out, y'all. It's, it's great. It's incredible. Smells like cookies. Smells like toffee. Smells like caramel. Man. It's, it's a beast. It's absolutely. a beast. It's very sweet, though. Take our word for it. It's very sweet. Get you a sample. Get you a sample. Check it out. If you don't get that Italica, go get Bodacious. This, if you love sweet, if you love, love Gourmand, Scents, you word love word, sweet man. scents that reminds you of edible desserts and, and notes. Go grab one of these, man. Go grab one of these, but check out Italic. Absolutely, check it out. You got Snatch anything else? Time, man. You got anything else? We good? Uh, we good. We man. thank y'all for the support. Absolutely, man. We, we thank y'all. We these thank y'all for the support. We appreciate y'all. Most deaf. We got a lot more coming. Just stay tuned. Anything else? Uh, nah, man. Much love, y'all. Much love. We good? Man, we good. We done? We done. We out? We out. I right, real recognize real and you look familiar. Love you, son. Love you too, Pops. We out. We out. Much love.